Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to another video. Today, I'll help you complete the old school RuneScape Easter event for 2022. And this is going to be very simple to follow. So let's jump right into it. You don't really need any items, but I am going to be taking stamina potion just to speed it up a little bit. And the start of the quest is located in Al Karid, just a little bit north of the bank. So that being said, let's just go ahead and speak to Eastern Bunny straight away. And uh, yeah, start the... Easter event basically now this event is kind of like a one small favor and it's a bit of a longer event compared to how the usual events go but we're gonna select option number one and uh, it sounds good to us and we're gonna go ahead and start um, the quest basically after that we're gonna have to head a little bit south to the Karim uh, the kebab shop and we're gonna just talk to Karim and once again select option number one we're gonna talk about the Easter event and after the conversation with this guy, we're going to make our way to Shanti. So make your way to Shanti, which is going to be just a little bit south and to the east. Uh, we're not going to go through the Shanti Pass or anything like that. Just making our way a little bit south. After this conversation with Shanti, we're going to have to make our way to Ali Morrison. But wait about that for a moment. Where's our boy Shanti? Over here. Speak to him. Option number one. And uh, obviously, if you want to go at your own pace and not hold spacebar like I, I do, feel free to just read through conversations. After here, we're going to go to Ali Morrison. He's going to be located all the way north, just a little bit south of the Duel Arena teleport. I mean, if you technically wanted to make this a little faster, you could bring Dueling Ring and just teleport. But honestly, I think if we just run around the place, it is perfectly fine. So we're kind of just making a circle around Al Qarid at the moment. And obviously, if you're interested in lore, go at your own pace, read through the conversations and whatnot. Select option number one once you speak to Ali Morrison. After this conversation, we're going to make our way a little bit south of the bank where you will be finding a suspicious crate. So in order to get to the crate, just follow a little bit southwest. I uh, Just follow the road in Al Qarid and you will be able to get there in pretty much no time. It is located just a little bit north of the ferry, actually. Okay. After speaking to the crate, we're gonna make our way a little bit north back towards the kebab store. And in the kebab store, we're once again going to be speaking to... Uh, what's his name? Karim again. We're going to talk about the event again, option number one. And we are out of hot sauce, but we now have kebab. We're going to take this kebab back towards the crate. And now we actually have the kebab for the suspicious crate. There it is, now that is gone. And now we have a secret uh, secret report. After receiving the secret report from the suspicious crate, we're gonna make our way back north and speak to Ali Morrison again. Once again, he's gonna be located a, bit, a, bit, a little bit northeast uh, of Al Karid. So let's go ahead and run all the way to him. This feels very much like a one small favor, just running back and forth. Uh, and this is where the stamina will also come in handy. Let's talk about the Eastern event by op selecting option number one again. And now we hand over the, well, the note. Holding spacebar here. We are now going to be returning back to the bunny and he should finally give us a big bucket. Here is the eastern bunny once again. And finally, we have the big bucket. Now, what you do with this is you're going to have to use it on a camel. Now, the camel that I know that is located just a little bit northeast of here is going to be Cam the Camel, I believe. 
and we're just gonna go ahead and use this on the camel. And as soon as we have this um, camel milk, we're gonna now return straight back to Bunny. Just gonna be drinking my stamina potions, because obviously quite a little bit of running. And after speaking to Bunny, we should be entering a pretty nice cutscene. So I guess this is another way to spell f PK, right? Feep, K, whatever. PK. And uh, obviously these cutscenes are always quite hilarious. Nice little, nice little 73 is there, and the poor uh, poor guy is dead. Okay, obviously, take your time with the cutscenes, enjoy them. I've already done this on one account just to plan out the the guide, and we're once again teleported back to Alcarid. We're gonna go ahead and run south and speak to the bunny one more time here. Just all the way south, back to Bunny. Thinking of it, um, I mean, if you really wanted to speed this up, glories or dueling rings, but honestly, is it actually worth it? I'm not so sure. We're gonna just hold spacebar after speaking to Eastern Bunny here. And now we're gonna go ahead and speak to Ellis, which is located just a little bit east. And we're once again gonna select option number one after speaking to Ellis. Now we're gonna have to search a couple of things after this. So first thing, this pile of junk right here, just a little bit west of the smelting furnace. So we're gonna go ahead and search that for a couple of items. After we find all the items from this pile of junk, we're just gonna move a little bit east and speak to Zeke, uh, the scimitar salesman. So I should be getting four or five items, I'm not sure. Four items it is. As I said, a little bit uh, east and we're gonna speak to Zeke as well. Right over here. And we're gonna select option number one as always. And after this, we're going back to Ali Morisane. Ali Morrison is right over here. Gonna once again click option number one and he should give us an item. After he gives us an item, we're gonna use it on a dirty vat. So magical cleaning potion on a dirty vat. We now have a clean vat. Use that on any of the items and you're gonna get yourself a churning machine. Take that to the bunny. Out of stamina potions here, so hopefully I don't need any more. And speak to Bunny once again, once we make our way straight to him. And we're once again in a nice little cutscene, where once again we are met with uh, PK. Nice little rune scimitar on the floor if you're interested in that. And here, hi please pet dogs. Comes back and dies one more time, slightly unfortunate. But, uh, yep, that's also now done. And we now should have a frozen churning machine in our inventory. Let's go ahead, run south and give it to the bunny one more time. After that, we will basically just have to do a little test. And that is going to be the Easter event done. A little bit of a longer event, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's 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 enjoyable. The rewards are, well, you'll see the rewards in a bit, actually. Let's speak to the Eastern Bunny after running south. And we now have a bucket of milk. Let's go ahead and place it into the dirty ground located just a little bit west of the bunny. We're going to add to the frozen churning machine and now we're going to operate it. Just hold spacebar whilst you do that. I believe now we're gonna have to go to... Uh, do I operate it again? I think I need to go to speak to the crate again. 
Now it's speaking to Bunny again after operating it. <laughs> Sus. Now, that's a nice little Among Us reference there. Uh, let's just double check that we are on the correct sped step and I believe we now have to speak to the crate located just south of the bank. So once again, let's speak to suspicious crate. Hold our spacebar. And we should be receiving an item here if I remember correctly. And there is the cooler. Uh, we're gonna take this cooler back towards the bunny. If we check it right now, there's nothing inside. Uh, but as soon as we come towards the bunny, there's gonna be two little eggs inside. So let's go ahead and speak to Eastern Bunny. He will put two eggs in it. And the next part is pretty important that you don't mess up or you just have to speak back to the Eastern Bunny to restart the little test. After the conversation, check your cooler, make sure you have two eggs inside and make your way towards the shanty pass once again. And about this challenge is all you have to do is you need to be patient uh, until the basically the chat box reappears. So we're making our way all the way south towards the shanty pass. And as soon as we enter it, we're going to click check the cooler and hold spacebar and take them out. Start the quest option number one. And here it's all about patience. You Basically, just don't move, don't do anything, or you will fail the challenge. Just hold spacebar and wait. Obviously, make sure the chat box goes away. And you see in the chat, it says you wait. And then it says, so far, so good. And it's literally just a waiting game here. Gonna take this time to mention that uh, if this helps you in any way, um, consider, you know, subscribing to the channel, maybe liking the video. I know the uploads have been very rare these days, but I'm basically just waiting for Deadman mode rerun or something like that to really start posting RuneScape videos again, uh, because at the moment I'm mostly focusing on my second channel, where I pretty much post just about anything I want, and it's kind of nice and it's kind of refreshing. And obviously I'm a bit burnt from leagues as well at the moment, but... As soon as you see that's long enough, I should let the Eastern Bunny know. Uh, you are allowed to run north again and speak to the bunny. And just north of the bank, that's basically going to be it. Uh, as, as I said a few times already, fairly long Eastern event, but um, I mean, yeah, I always like to do this and I always like to record them because every year it's different and it disappears. You can't really redo it. So I always make sure I do this and also for the rewards because I mean, why not, right? So speak to Easter Bunny. And I'm pretty sure we're very close to being done here. And just like that, that is going to be the 2022 Eastern event completed. Happy Easter, everybody. And here are the rewards. You have an Eastern hat. Yeah, that's it. Uh, can't really use any emotes with it. But you also get this crate ring. So you can uh, basically become a crate. And you can question. You can shake. You can exclaim. And you can survey. And that is it. As always, I hope this was helpful. If it was, let me know in the comments and maybe give a video a like. And I'll see you again very soon with another video. Have a good one and stay safe and bye-bye. See ya!